Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supply. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about variable speed pumps. What are variable speed pumps? What are the benefits of owning a variable speed pump? And how these eco-friendly pumps have become a new industry standard. I'm also going to be showing the features between these two flagship models, Hayward and Pantera. It is important to know that the industry is moving towards variable speed, so stick around. Hit the subscribe button. You guys are not going to want to miss this. Unlike single speed pumps that run one consistent speed, a variable speed pump allows the speed to fluctuate depending on what is more efficient for your pool. For an example, we do not need to have a pump running full speed all the time. When we're not using the pool, a variable speed pump will allow us to control the speed and slow the pool down so it's not going to run uh, as fast, it's not drawing as much electricity, it is still circulating, it's still being very effective in filtering, uh, saving you a ton of money, an energy savings of up to 80%, and if used properly, these pumps will pay for themselves within one to two years. Here in front of me, I have the Super Pump VS by Hayward, and I have the Super Flow VS by Pantera. These are the most common variable speed pumps for the average pool. If you guys are looking for something a little bigger, a little more horsepower, uh, these manufacturers also make other pumps, but I'm just gonna show these for this video because they are the most common. And when we start off with the Super Pump VS by Hayward, uh, this is a one and a half horsepower pump. It is wired for 220 volts. They also have a version of this that is in 110. So it is very important with Hayward that if you have 110, you've got to buy the 110 version. If you have 220, you've got to buy the 220 version. There is talks that this pump will be made in the future for both 110 and 220, but right now it's very specific to one or the other. What's really cool about this is we have a nice display here, and when we open it up, you will see the digital display. We have four different speeds. It's very programmable. Uh, there's even a built-in timer, so we can set the time and the display. There is a manual that comes with the pump. This way, uh, you can actually set the program uh, to however you want to set it. Uh, another cool feature is this control itself is rotatable. It's also removable so that one can hang it on the wall. It just makes for a little bit more uh, convenient access and viewing, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, but it is a very nice pump, and this pump also comes with a one-year warranty. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go to the Superflow VS by Pantera. This is uh, also a one and a half horsepower variable speed pump. Uh, this is a smart pump. One difference here is it does not matter if you have 110 or 220. When you hook this up, the pump will automatically convert. Where Hayward, you do right now have to buy it either 110 or 220. Like I said in the future, they'll probably have that same feature, but right now, this one is uh, automatically doing that. Another thing that they have is they have quick disconnect. Quick di disconnect is nice, so that way we can service the unit. It is coming so that you can hook this up an inch and a half. If you have two inch, you can glue over, and now you've converted to two inch, which is nice. Hayward also does offer quick disconnects for some of their pumps, but they are extra. This pump already comes with it. When we look at the control panel here, the control panel is not rotatable or removable like Hayward's, but it does have three speeds. There is a built-in timer. There's also a owner's manual that comes with this so that you can learn how to program and set your uh, speeds and your times. Uh, this pump here also comes with a one-year warranty. Both of these pumps operate at the same cost and they provide the same energy savings. So regardless of which pump you choose, you won't go wrong. Hopefully this video gave you guys a better understanding about variable speed pumps. I will be posting links down below in regards to the parts for these pumps as well as the pumps themselves. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Mark. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.